Tonight, CBS2 investigates the difficulty in finding out who owns a building in New York State. That's because many of them are registered to LLCs and shell companies. But a bill awaiting Governor Hochul's signature could change that. CBS2 investigative reporter Tim McNicholas tells us what the new law could mean for New Yorkers and how it ties into last week's partial building collapse in the Bronx. <laughs> Before Emily Gallagher started representing Greenpoint, Brooklyn in the New York State Assembly, she was a neighborhood activist advocating for tenants' rights. One of those rights, knowing exactly who owns your building. With the Bronx building collapse, this absolutely uh, frustrated me and broke my heart because this is exactly what this bill is targeting. Records for that Bronx building from the city's Housing Preservation Department listed one name as the head officer of the LLC that owns the building. Department of Buildings records from the last few years listed two other names as owners. When we tracked down someone who said he was the building's landlord, he gave yet another name. Right now, there's no way to know who owns an LLC. So if there's any issues with that business, it's very difficult to actually hold that business accountable. Which is why Gallagher introduced the LLC Transparency Act. It passed with bipartisan support. If the governor signs the bill, it would create a public database which would list the names of those who benefit from the company. It would be the first in the nation. There are other countries that have cities that already use this. For example, uh, London and, and England has already done this step. But some landlords and business owners say the bill puts a target on the backs of those just trying to make a living. The Real Estate Board of New York sent us this statement saying in part, the publicly available database would create privacy and identity theft risks for New Yorkers and risk weakening New York's economy. Chelsea Lemon with the New York and Business Council there, agrees. Uh, it could be used for blackmail or extortion or worse yet, it could be used by a foreign government. The bill partially mirrors the federal Federal Corporate Transparency Act, which aims to stop people from using shell companies to launder money and avoid economic sanctions. Transparency is important. However, the public database uh, is really jeopardizing the safety of our small business owners. The reason why we really want that public database is because it will allow people who have bad acting LLCs in their lives to be able to take that step themselves. The, we have put in guards for privacy. We've put in uh, an anonymity uh, opportunity for folks. Governor Hochul has until Sunday to sign or veto the bill. We sent the governor's office several questions about the legislation, but they would only tell us she's reviewing it. Tim McNicholas, CBS 2 News. If you have a story that needs investigating, you can reach our team by email or phone. The information is on your screen.